I, I feel like I'm on top of my shit today. <laughs> Alright. There we go. We're able to save it. Pee pee poo poo on my dad. there. Okay, so um, where we left off with Primordia last time, we um, settled the dispute between uh, what, Cornelius Boss, here? if you were to choose between letting your builder die a horrible death or stealing his plasma torch, which would you do? Crispin, stealing my plasma torch isn't going to save me from destruction. It was a hypothetical question. I wasn't talking about us. Mm -hmm. Oh, Crispin, you're such a coward. Okay, so I'm looking at the audio levels. I think it's okay. Again, I apologize for the um, the ambient noise from the CPU water cooler. Water cooler radiator. Yeah, I apologize, I haven't got to that particular thing yet. So yeah, as I was saying, Cornelius and Oswald, we, did, we solved a legal dispute between these two idiots. And uh, yeah, I think, yeah. Now, like, we've got to find, um, like, that big boy robot that looks like you could mess us up. I think we've got to go into the, uh, the Underworks. I think that's what they call it. But alright, let, let's try and get back into Primordia mode. And, um, I think I started... Started the stream at 9.30. 10 minutes of talk, and then about 70 minutes of gameplay, so... I'm going to stop at, um, 10.50. So I need to make a personal mental note. But, uh, yeah, other than that, let's, let's go. Rex lawsuit designed by Cornelius, assembly by Oswald. Concept to completion, four years. Design time, one year. Cornelius invented new pneumatic drivetrain. Assembly includes many servos, waldos, and crankshafts. Cost of parts worn equally by both Cornelius and Oswald. Basic Frame incorporates features of public domain model. Cornelius has several other well-known bot designs. Oswald has not built any other bots but serviced Factor for years. Alright. Alright. That's a clock at the, um, the beginning of the station of our Metropole. Leah Barter. Right, right, right. So that's the, um, the, like, the fucked up robot near the beginning. Near the bar. Alright. So now... Let's see if we can talk to him again. Did I, didn't I solve this? Goodbye. There you go. Hello? I'm wrong. Hello? I'm wrong. I don't think it can don't, hear don't, you, don't. boss. Goodbye. Cheerio. Oh, maybe, like, okay, this is the... I'm going to be actually adjudicating their argument. Okay, sure. Alright. I'm ready to hear your arguments. Excellent, excellent. My dear friend, this is not a difficult case. In the primordium, it was one second. Ten people have ten ideas, and twenty idle hands. Wise ratio. Long years have passed, but the principle remains true. Did Cornelius have the idea for my beloved Rex? I can see he did. But who built him with his own claws and tools? Who hammered and soldered and wired Rex? That would be my humble self. Wise ratio. A robot's fabric has the suffix built, not designed. And Rex is Oswald built, no matter who designed him. Okay. He makes a good case, boss. What about you, Cornelius? Ah, if you're so smart, you can figure this out for yourself. The question isn't what built Rex, but who built him? Your little friend there is named Hammer built or Plasma Torch built. You call him Horatio built. Every robot uses tools to build. Oswald was merely a tool, a tool with tools. My vision was the creative force. 
And if you disagree, then you can go and rust in the rain. Hmm, what do you think, boss? Who gets to take credit? Uh, well, I have resaved, so I don't think there's, uh... I'm just wondering, should I... No, I don't think OBS window should be on top of the, uh... The, uh... The browser window, so... Excuse me for one moment... Alright. Damn it, it didn't work. It didn't work how I wanted it to. Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay, so... He built it, it's true. He designed it. I'm not sure, you know... Backed up. You know what? Hmm. I'm tempted to do no one. No one can take credit. Neither of you could have built Rex without the other. So ah. neither of you can put your name on him. Ah. His name is Rex Nobilt. Version 1. Outrageous! Surely, sir, you have misspoken. No, I have not. In any case, Rex is his own robot. He can make up his own mind. What fools we were to accept his judgment. Indeed. Wait! Well, boss, hats off to you. <sighs> hmm. I feel like that's the correct decision. Hmm. Pat on the back. I feel good about that one. Alright, I now have a hat. Hello? Camera? Boss, I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to find another way to communicate with it. Hello? Excuse me. Sir, my apologies, sir. 187th Legion Belt, Surly Company, reporting. Uh, Horatio Nobelt, version 5. A pleasure. Horatio Nobelt, sir? Never heard of any service bot with that designation. Still, it's good to see another Urbanian, sir. After things got foobarred back home, I figured Surly Company was all that was left. Urbanian? What are you talking about? There's a dude. Sod. Finally made what a friendly doing? and used his crack as primer. No offense, sir. Just hoped... Well, never mind that. How can I assist you, sir? Yeah, we're playing some Primordium. After all this time. Primordium? Primordia? Primordium. Hmm. Hope you're doing well, dude. I'm alright. Surely company? So, yeah, we're just going through some um, exposition now. Some story. Surly company? Urbanian? What are you talking about? Um, well, sir, I'm not sure quite where to start. I had you figured for one of us, seeing as how you came up as a friendly on my IFF. I could see you as a member of Surly Company, boss, but as friendly? No. Zumi's got some mouth on him, huh, sir? Always do those flyboys. Look, why don't you just give me a quick rundown? Well, sir, can't see the harm, and if you are a decoy. War's over, after all. It was over before Surly Company even deployed. See, we're Urbanian robots. A long time back, Urbani and Metropol got to fighting over something. Who knows what? Mm -hmm. The Metropolitans fried our civilians, and Legion told us to strike back. Word was, some big airship of ours was supposed to knock out Metropol's defenses, and we just come in for mop up. But the Metros took our ship down with their own heavy hitter, some giant named Goliath. Oh. I see. Anyway, Surly Company was all that was left, so we deployed 200 strong. What happened then? Well, it's a long march from Urbani, sir, and most of us. Well, most of us broke down on the way. All said and done, the only ones who made it were me, 113th, and a signal bot we called Primer. The rest are all out there in the dunes somewhere. I'm sorry. War is war, sir. If it didn't crash hard, they wouldn't have built us in the first place. If it makes you feel any better, Horatio cut Goliath's finger off. Well, sir, someone ought to stick a metal on your chest. Yes, we fucked up that big robot. Yes, we cut its finger off. So we're big men. Why are you in line? Why are you in line? Seeing as how I'm on the outside now, sir, I figured I had to go pay restitution for shooting up the enemy HQ. Enemy HQ? Yes, sir. That big tower in the center of the city. Okay, so why haven't you paid? It sounds like all of this happened a long time ago. Years ago, sir. 
but the courthouse has been locked down the whole time. I figured they'll open it up eventually, and then I can clear my name. What if it doesn't open? Well, sir, I know all about it. Hurry up and wait. Part four. What happened to 113th and Primer? After we got to Metropole, we tried to put up a fight, but couldn't do much. They fried 113, and my rifles jammed. Primer surrendered on our behalf. After dressing us down, they took all my big guns and sold the 113th shell to some scrap dealer. Primer never was the same. He encrypted part of his own logic so he wouldn't have to think about losing the war any longer. Mm -hmm. Then, he disappeared beneath the city. Uh. Me? I came here. How did the war end? For Surly Company, it ended when we staggered in here and surrendered. Beyond that, sir, it's all above my pay grade. Truth <laughs> is, sir, we never even knew what we were fighting for, let alone what the Metropolitans wanted. So I can't say for certain that Metropole won, but I'm pretty sure her body lost, what with all the civilians being dead and the army being beaten. How do you know you even have to pay something? This seems logical, sir. What if I could pay your fine for you, or get it canceled? Mm. Well, sir, then I'd be much obliged. I'll probably just leave town. Can't say that I'd much like being in enemy territory. And how are we gonna do that, boss? I don't know. I'll figure something out. Yeah. Can I try opening that door? Lay that, sir. The authorities told me that no one goes in till the door opens on its own. But aren't we on the same side? Affirmative, sir. But since I'm on CivDiv now, my programming requires me to submit to the local authorities. I see. I inspected the damage. All you did was ding the metal. Well, sir, until someone shows me the law that says I don't have to pay, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Goodbye. Over and out, sir. All right. Hello? Boss, I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to find another way to communicate with it. Well, can you communicate with the Crispin? That's crazy talk. God damn it. Alright. So, okay. I know that we need to go... We need to go underneath the uh, city of Metropole to progress this further. What's our inventory like? It's a fine felt hat. Given its age, it's in remarkable condition. Yes. Yes. The Law and You, a Metropolitan Guide. It's written by Clarity Arbiter Built. It explains about the Refuge Rule, and says that, for the first 48 hours after a robot arrives at Metropole, it will not be punished for violations of any laws except for harming another robot or causing significant property damage. Okay. What's down here, then? Ah, this must be Prana. I am waiting. Hello, said robot. What are you doing here? Waiting. For what? Oh, dear. My bus. Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bus isn't coming. It will come. Your bus is a burning wreck about two blocks from here. It will come. I must go home. Metromind will take me home. Metromind. Hmm. I forgot what that was. I am waiting. I am waiting. Bus stop. Buses run every 10 minutes. 10 is crossed out, and 30 is written below it. 30 is crossed out, and 60 is written below it. 60 is crossed out, and daily is written below it. Daily minutes? That doesn't make sense. If it makes you feel better, daily is crossed out, and surface suspended is written below it. I am waiting. Dude, bus is suspended. You dumb shit. Push him off the edge, boss. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. it. Alright, I don't think there's anything else here, so... I assume that that's Primer? I could be wrong. Maybe that's Primer. Well... All storage bladders empty. Fine. Metropole's bleak skyline. Right. So that's the bus that got fucked up. Right, right, right. We got the, the thing out of the way. I guess the pilot didn't see the stoplight. Nope. She's holding a spool of copper wiring. A want. I've never had to talk to a lamp before, boss. I've got no practice. 
He's got the hots for the lamp pint. She's holding a spool of copper wiring. I have nothing to say to him. It looks like he's trying to fix it. I'm not here to... A crashed hub... Yeah, I don't think there's anything more here that we can do. Can we go under from here? It's too heavy for me to lift. Underneath this is a ladder to the underworks. Hmm. Alright. Did you buy an Urbanian robot named 113th Legion Build? Right. I've done a lot of trades, Tyrell. I can't be expected to keep track of them all. Damn it. Let me see your stuff. We're trying to Come see to the look. um the friend of that uh that bot that was guarding the door. I'll trade it to you for something shiny. Something shiny. Something shiny. A sodium iodide crystal. It pulses when exposed to energy. I'm just not sure. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. Crowbar would open up the uh, the ladder, I'd say. I'll trade it to you for something shiny. Here you go, a nice shiny crystal. And one heavy iron crowbar for you. Right. Why does that not seem like a great deal? Alright. It's too heavy for me to lift. That should be enough though. usable parts. They look like they've been stripped of usable parts. Okay. This vehicle looks more intact than the others. Some kind of hatch. Uh, I don't really want to try that. It's rusted shut. It's rusted shut. I've scraped off the rust. Well, let's see what we've got here. Ooh. A sturdy looking fan belt. This internal combustion engine is in relatively good shape. I'm taking everything I can carry. It must have been some kind of tank for storing fluid, but it's it dry as dust. Must have been tank, but it's empty now. This internal combustion engine is in relatively good shape. Give me. Let's see if I can manage this. Hopefully, I won't be holding onto this engine for long. Is there any other shit in here? Hey, duck. I have no use for it. That's never stopped you before. That's right. An air intake duct. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it played some role when this machine was operational. Yeah. It's full of corroded, unsalvageable electrical equipment. I shall take all of I have no use for it. Damn it. All right. All right. I can't get it open. It's a small hatch. Oh. It's a small hatch. Okay. I'm not doing that until you build me some arms. That's some shit. Still stuck. I'm sure there's nothing worthwhile in there. Oh, I beg to differ. Still stuck. I'm sure there's nothing worthwhile mm. in there. Just your imagination. Oh, I'm gonna save just in case. 